Rivers Casino Resort Sports Desk, KZI 9 Sports with Cameron Durbin. There's no greater feeling than high school football during the playoffs. I'm at Dennis Ludwig Stadium where Sheldon is getting ready to take on Sprague. Sheldon's first playoff game this season as you take a look around the field and just take it in. It is very loud here. It's like a rock show is going on. This is going to be a really fun one. A Sheldon team that is very talented and a Sprague team that can do good things on any day. But of course, we have three playoff teams here in Eugene that are playing in playoff games tonight, including Marist and Churchill. Brett Taylor is at Marist. We are going to check in with him in just a moment. But I want to come back here for a moment and talk about this Sheldon team because talk about talent, my goodness, a list of names that is too long to go through. We'll talk about some of them in just a moment. But remember, these two teams played two weeks ago. Sheldon put the smack down on Sprague 52 to seven in a Southwest Conference Championship game. This team has been like a freight train all season long and it's a freight train you don't want to stand in front of. Head coach Tyler Martell told me this week he wouldn't want to try to defend the Sheldon offense. It's led by one of the best quarterbacks in the state in Kelson Sperry but the weapons are all over the field. Mana Tuioti, Jice Jones, Brady Thomas, Rocco Graziano. The list just keeps going but a big piece to how Sheldon has kept this level of play post Josh Line, the coaching staff that surrounds these players. Guys like Jordan Johnson played here and Marty Johnson, who the who the field's named after. And Dennis Ludwig's been coaching our JVs for a long time. And Scott Wright, and I've been here for 17 years. So it it feels like we've just kind of kept things going. And I think change is hard for kids, but our guys have been such a mature group that they've bought right in from the get-go and, and have gone to work every day.